So, air signs. I don't know what's going on with air signs energy. This is my third time trying to record y'all video since yesterday. Usually, when I do my videos, it's a one and done type of energy, okay? But this is my third time trying to get a message out for you all. It's something that somebody doesn't want you to hear, okay? They want you to stay in the Seven of Cups energy. So let's just see what, what, what that is about, okay? Holy Spirit, what is the collective message for my air signs, for my Aquariuses, my Geminis, and my Libras? Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What is it that you would like for them to know? I bet y'all thought I had forgot about y'all, but no, baby. Something is like they don't want me to talk to y'all. Air signs, I don't know what it is. Let's see how the cards just get. That was also happening each time I tried to record your video. Cards were all out of whack, even though they were fixed correctly in the deck prior. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what do you want my air signs to know at this time? The star, Aquarius energy. You're rece receiving truth and clarity or you're getting truth and clarity about something. Someone you love, possibly. You're realizing that the person that you love is causing loss in your life. They may even be causing people to walk away from you. They're causing drama and issues for you. Okay? With this five of wands. And I think you previously felt like Maybe it was somebody else who was the cause of the drama in your life. I'm hearing maybe somebody that was associated with this Ace of Cups. You were blaming them for the drama that was existing in your life. But now you're realizing that this Ace of Cups is the cause of the Five of Wands. And it does have you in regret. Okay, Air Signs? Because you love this person. You really cared for them. You considered them to be your ideal love choice. I mean, they're coming out here as the Ace of Cups. But they are the cause of the drama that's been a part of your life. You don't want to believe it. But I feel like your intuition has been trying to tell you the real spill about this lover energy that you have in your life. With this Gemini here, <clears throat> you got to make choices from the heart. But air signs generally make choices with the mind, okay? And your mind has been telling you for a long time, your intuition has been telling you for a long time that you need the eight of cups, whoever this ace of cups is, you need to leave them behind, okay? Because the ace of cups is supposed to be a beautiful relationship, a happy, thriving, overflowing connection. Your wishes come true when you are with and Ace of Cups. So you shouldn't be in the Five of Wands with the Moon followed by the Five of Cups with this energy. But that's been the vibe between y'all. You've been trying to hold on with this strength energy here. Okay? You've been trying to make sense of this love that you feel for this person. But it's not working out logically in your life, okay? It's too much bullshit going on in the game for this to be a logical choice when it comes to love. That's what I'm hearing. Whoever this Ace of Cups is. What else, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. We have the Dreamer and something else that just fell. Let's see here. The Three of... What is this? The Three of Pentacles. Okay, so that this dreamer card talk this dreamer card talks about basically getting your head your head out of the clouds, and and having a new start for yourself. Okay, collaborating in another direction. Okay, maybe there's something or someone else that you have been also interested in possibly that you wouldn't mind collaborating with and you are now open to doing that i'm hearing you're starting to see this ace of cups truly for who they are 
a light has been shined down on who you were collaborating with and you've changed your mind about some things with this person. You're ready to see what it would be like to be with another, okay? We had balance fall out here. We had some other cards fall out here, but they didn't flip over, so we're going to stick with this balance energy, okay? You are thinking about working with somebody, air signs. I did just hear Aquarius specifically. Maybe you have been wondering what it would be like if you blended your energy with another, if you chose to balance your life with another type of partnership. What else? We have the Knight of Swords. Definitely been, been it's, it's given logic, okay? You know, you're deciding to use your head now instead of your heart so much. And even with this collaboration energy, I'm just getting that it's not only you wanting to collaborate with someone else when it comes to an intimate relationship. You've also been considering collaborating with another when it comes to another company, something with work here. Maybe this Ace of Cups was trying to keep you to stay stuck to something. I'm getting this for one of y'all, okay? And you wanted to take a leap of faith with this dreamer energy here, but this lover energy, this Ace of Cups had convinced you to be complacent. And now that you're breaking away from this person, you feel this, this need to explore those other realms. Do these things that you wanted to do that you felt were the right thing to do, but this Ace of Cups, Five of Wands tried to convince you of other uh, tried to convince you otherwise. That's what I was just hearing, okay? Which is given that this person really was trying to affect your self-esteem. And it's a good idea that you have your block up to them. Okay, y'all are not really fooling with this energy like that anymore. Okay, we have wise counselor. You started listening to your intuition, but there may have also been other energies that were letting you know that this is not someone who really has your best interest at heart. This is not somebody that you should be trying to balance your life with. They're going to continue to have you in regret. They're going to continue to have you in the five of cups. They're going to continue to bring drama your way with this five of wands. And that's not what an ace of cups should bring to your life. You know, not an abundance of bullshit and drama like, like this person has been doing. So you listen to whoever this wise counsel was in addition to your own down, spiritual downloads about this person. And you've been putting your guard up to them. You have no longer been accepting what they have to offer. We have the hermit. I do feel like you have some type of spiritual mentor, Air Signs. You have somebody who's been helping you get in tune with your spirituality. Maybe not someone that you're going to directly for everybody, but there is somebody that you listen to, somebody that you get some type of counsel or advice from. And this person is has been helping you grow. This person has been leading you away from this toxic love choice that you had in your life, okay? This person has been making you think and really reflect on who you were trying to build a life with, who you were choosing. This person has helped you out. And I'm telling you, who it may have been a mother figure, okay, or a mother, even with this Queen of Cups. Whoever this energy is, this is somebody who really has been trying to get you to understand that this is not what you deserve, okay? That you deserve an Ace of Pentacles. And you refusing to accept this energy into your life. It's going to open up so many doors for you. You are going to have a lot of lucrative opportunities. And this lucrative energy is not just finances, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles, 
it's the card says an exciting career opportunity. So some of y'all are about to have a new exciting career opportunity. I was picking that up with this three of pentacles, this balance, and this knight of swords. Like there was some type of professional opportunity that you did not pursue because this ace of cups, five of wands really was in your ear like... Okay, no, you don't need to fuck with that. Just stick with what you got going on, okay? But now that you're moving on to calm waters with this Six of Pentacles and you're going to stop giving to and receiving from this person, you're going to be able to balance your life in the way that you want it to, okay? With this Two of Pentacles. I feel like you were, you were trying to juggle more when you were sticking to whatever this previous career or profession is that you're that you were in, okay, that you're leaving behind, because some of y'all really are about to leave a job behind and pursue a new career, something that you wanted to do. But whoever this Ace of Cups, Five of Wands was that you was dating, they discouraged you from doing that. And some of y'all have a Queen of Cups. You know, some type of mother or mother figure who has really been guiding you towards what, what serves you, helping you get on your spiritual path. And your spiritual path included you pursuing new professional and career opportunities, even pursuing new relationships because who you were trying to deal with, they were not in your, they were not serving your best interests. I'm going to say that. Because anybody that you got a whole Ace of Cups for yet, you got to be dealing with the Five of Wands and the Five of Cups in order to have that Ace of Cups. You know, five plus five is ten. Okay? So you're damn near get getting as much about as much as blowback as you are receiving in love. Okay? Like that love ain't worth all the stress for you to be in the five of wands and the five of cups to have it and the nine of wands, okay? Y'all are tired of stressful relationships that you get nothing out of that have you feeling like you fighting and competing because I'm picking up on that kind of energy from this ace of cups. This is giving that lover boy player type energy, okay? Somebody who... Got a cup of love for every damn body. You know, somebody who like to ski, okay? You know, this masculine like to set it off in a number of energies, whoever this is that I'm picking up on. And you have realized that this person, that's why you be having this five of wands drama too, whoever I'm picking up on. Because you probably have even gotten into it or got some beef with some energies behind this ace of cups. And it was just 13, 13 when I said that. But you have laid this to rest. You are no longer interested or invested in trying to prove your love to this person. I feel like maybe some of y'all have been meditating. I've seen and picked up on that a couple of times since this reading started. You know, you're really trying to one yourself. You know what I'm saying? You're really trying to come up out of this spiritual karmic cycle that you were in with this person because you really had a lot of love for them. You're trying to center your mind, become more logical again, okay? You're trying to free yourself from this energy. And by freeing yourself, you're establishing a stronger spiritual foundation, a stronger mental foundation, as well as emotional foundation. Because again, Y'all emotions is what got y'all in this situation with this person. But your mind is what you what is getting you out of it. Okay. We have the eight of wands and the six of cups. The, you want to move forward, but I promise you, this six of cups energy is this ace of cups, five of wands, and they're gonna try to reconnect with you again. Hell, they probably already tried to communicate with you that they want to start over with this Eight of Wands to the Six of Cups. But you've been moving forward, and the Holy Spirit is saying, y'all need to continue to keep moving forward. Because you already see what it's going to be with this person. 
People do not just change, okay? People, it's very hard to change. I'm feeling the need to remind somebody of that. I'm not being pessimistic. I'm being realistic, okay? We can hope and pray and wish for someone to get it together all day long, but if they're content with who they are and how they behave and what they do and how they make people feel, that's what they're going to do. They're going to continue to be content with that. You know, and this Ace of Cups, Five of Wands, don't mind having nobody in the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles, okay? He really a King of Swords, but I feel like his appeal comes, comes into play because he comes off as a King of Pentacles, someone who is abundant, someone who is stable, who would be a good choice when it comes to building a partnership with. 1551. But he is very funny acting when it comes to accepting offers from individuals. I'm getting, I'm really getting that this masculine probably got about four other women besides you, whoever I'm talking to right now. Because I'm picking up on a number of different situations. But one of y'all, whoever this masculine is that you're breaking away from, this masculine had multiple cups. That he could could accept. This is why you was always having drama. Whenever you was trying to get him to accept your cup. Whenever he would come over acting like he wanted to accept your cup. He had four other women running behind him. Hoping that they would drink from their cup. Drink. That he would drink from their cup again. It's something like that here now. But you moving on from that child. With this three of um, wands. Okay. And this Queen of Swords, this is more of y'all energy. This King of Swords was y'all realizing the truth about this masculine, that he was not concerned about anybody else's feelings, can be very cutthroat, okay? Very stoic. And that, you know, it's his way or the highway. And now y'all in this energy where you judging this motherfucker. I mean, we just gonna keep it a buck. A Queen of Swords can pass judgment. You know, she is an authority figure. She is somebody who is a neutral party who people go to to help make decisions. And y'all have decided that this is not somebody that you want to invest any energy in any longer. Okay? Any final messages for my air signs? We have transformation. I'm trying to tell you, y'all have decided that this significant life experience, it, it, this is what the card says. I'm going to read it directly, verbatim. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Okay? Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Releasing old belief systems. So you all are truly transforming as a result of this very strong love connection that you were involved in. I feel like it was one-sided to a certain extent, and you're realizing that because if he was giving love to all these other energies, it, limit, it limited how much love this person was able to give to you. But I feel like whoever this Queen of Cups is, for some of y'all, y'all really have a mentor of some kind that has truly helped guide you out of this cycle that you were in. They're truly helping you move forward with your life. And this person is showing you love in a different way that is helping you realize also that what you were getting from this energy up here was not love. Okay? So I'm going to leave it here, air signs. Okay? I'm going to drop the mic. I hope this message helps you all. I hope it gives you insight and guidance. I don't feel like the devil wanted y'all to break away from this person because... At one point, maybe some of y'all were trying to win at all costs, okay, with this Five of Swords. And, you know, you were you were vibing low, trying to keep up with this Ace of Cups, Five of Wands. But you realize something. You realize that there were allusions to this person, that there was some type of cloudiness 
that there was even maybe some type of addiction that you had to this person. Okay? Clarify that, Holy Spirit, y'all, because I'm getting there. Like, this person really kind of had some of y'all out here. The Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Ooh, I'm dropping the mic on that. Okay? Whoever this person was, they did not have y'all, you know, in your highest vibe. And you realize that? Okay? So, y'all have really, you know, broke the cycle, broke away. And God is saying, continue to keep moving forward. Okay? So, I'm going to end it here. I hope this message helps you all. I hope it gives you insight and guidance moving forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. Take only what resonates, air signs. And I will be back soon with another one. Peace.